Barbara. I've been coming, I used to live on 80th Street years and years ago, and my oldest, my youngest daughter, who's now 33, was just a child. And I've been coming to this library for years and years, even when I lived in other states and I came back, I was came to the library and made friends. And I absolutely cannot believe, I know that as a whole, New York is suffering from a lot of problems financially, mainly because of greed from politicians at the top. However, however, I do not think that our children and our people in our neighborhoods and our communities should be made to pay for their greed. I think it's a terrible thing that all the cuts are coming together from the library, the youth programs, the summer employment, everything that will keep children out of, say, out of danger and keep them safe when they're already complaining about how our teens and how immigrants in the community are just scumbags and terrorists and criminals, but they're cutting the legs out from all of us by not giving them a place to go. I think it's horrendous, and I think that a lot more people in our neighborhood, in our communities, need to get together and understand they cannot allow this to happen because people don't really know the impact until they have their children out in the street while they're trying to go to work. And there's no place for them to go. This is not just a library. For myself personally, it's been like a home away from home. When I've been down, when I've been alone, I've not had any family here, I come to the library. I can stay here for hours on late nights, read, chat, go online. It's not just about the internet. It's not just about looking for a job. It's about a community. It's like the community hall we don't have. This, is, this library is our community hall, where people from all races, from a million different countries come, and this is where we get together. You know, we set an example for what the rest of the country should look like. Because look around you. We're so many different races and religions and skin colors, and it doesn't matter. You don't see fistfights and robberies inside the library. We come in and our children get along. And this sets the tone for how we should be going in the future. For our children's sake, if nothing else, we have got to do something about this and let Mayor Mubler know that he can't give a free pass to all his rich friends and the rest of us go down the drain. I just wanted to start by uh, reading you guys some facts about the libraries here in Queens, and I think it's important. Uh, Mayor, Blo This comes from the New York Times, by the way. Mayor Bloomberg's executive budget for the fiscal year beginning July 1st would force the Queens Library to close 14 of its library branches, have its total of hours of service, and lay off 412 employees, which is more than one-third of its entire staff. In Queens, the budget for the fiscal year would cut city financing, which makes up 80 to 90 percent of the library's money, by 16.9 million dollars. That follows mid-year city budget cuts this year and a recent one million dollar reduction in state financing, making a total of 28 million, point, uh, 28.3 million dollars since 2008 alone. As of this time, there have already been more than 300 employees who have received notices that they will be laid off, many of them in this library. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, these cuts seem a little ridiculous. It seems that Queens always gets the short end of the stick when it comes to cuts. We're losing our libraries, which means that we're losing computer access for our children, we're losing uh, job search assistant programs, and we're losing uh, programs for our community's children. Our communities just can't take this. They're already cutting our hospitals, they're cutting our schools, and now they want to come for our libraries, and we cannot stand for this. Uh, the assembly member is up in Albany right now trying to work out a budget for this state that works. We're trying to get money to keep the libraries open, and if this budget passes and we do not have money for this libraries, you can be sure that Assemblyman Mike Miller will be there fighting every day to make sure that these libraries stay open and that none of these jobs get cut. This is about the education of our children, and this is about the education of our future, uh, excuse me, this is about our future, and we're not going to let it slip away. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to call up Adriana Raymond. She's a parent who takes her toddler to Mommy and Me program. Our children need to come here. All the people who work here are wonderful. 
wonderful, wonderful people. We see them around all the time. They're always saying hello to the children. They love the children. The kids are screaming hello to them when we see them. I can't wait to go back to the library to see the wonderful librarian, especially the children's librarian. She's so wonderful. Um, but without the library, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? There's nothing else to do around here. We don't meet other people. There's no way to meet other people. You can meet people at the park, but this is where we come to learn. We come here to share our favorite subjects, our favorite stories, our favorite books, and the kids have such a wonderful time during during story time, during toddler time. They have different age groups. They have toddler time. My daughter's able to come, so she can so our so my son can come. My son can come to the older time, to the older children's time. So everybody all the time. No one is left out. The kids love to be here. We need to fight very hard to keep it open. Tell your friends about the library. I'm learning so many people do not know about the library. There's a school around the corner. They need to come here. They need to come here all the time. There's homework help every day. Where will they go if the library is closed? Just like everybody else said. Where will they go? There's no more activities anywhere. We need to keep it open. We need to keep it open. Toddler time is very important. The children, they love to sing. They love to hear the stories. They're always praying. They're always applauded. And they always do a craft and have a wonderful fun and leave very happy. We need to do our best to keep this open and save our librarians. Thank you.